Hello and welcome to this video. My name is Lars and in this video I'll be showing you more of the Open Light Speed stock environment. If you haven't already seen the first video, then I highly suggest that you watch it, because I'm going to be skipping some of the areas that are already covered in that video. You can find the link to that video down in the description. In this video I'll be showing you how to set up a domain with SSL certificates and I'll be showing you how you can install PHP extensions. Now we're going to be using a server, so the server has to have Docker and Docker Compose installed. So first SSH onto the server and clone the Open Lightspeed stock environment. After that, navigate into the folder and change the environment variables. Now this is optional, but since we're going to be running a real site, I suggest that you change the default root password and MySQL user password. So uh, let's change the there we go. After that, write dark compose up. And the server is now running open light speed. So let's create a domain. <clears throat> now we provided a lot of scripts that can help you um, control uh, open light speed without uh, actually using the open light speeds web admin interface. So you can add a domain by using these scripts. So this is one of them. So let's write over this, as hang. And let's add a database. And let's install WordPress. Great, so now if we head on over to this domain, we should now be able to see a WordPress installer. And we do. So let's just set up a site. And a very secure password. go so we have WordPress installed and that's great but the connection is not secure we don't have SSL yet so we can do but again it's self-signed it's not a real certificate so let's add SSL to the website so we also provided a script for that so right, bin archive. You can see here how to use it. So let's just say we want a cell for the domain. We'll just add it. Oh, yeah. Um, we need to install it first. So let's just uh, install dash dash no email. This will install Acme, but you won't get notified um, when. Uh, your domain is about to run out or I don't know any notifications that they might send so. Now let's add the SSL All
And there we go, if we now refresh, we see a legitimate certificate validated, verified by Let's Encrypt. Great. So, so yeah, that's working. And now to the last part of the video, um, where I will show you how to install PHP extensions. Yes, so this is going to involve a little bit of the basic Docker knowledge, um, but uh, I think you will understand. So this is all the files on the server. Navigate into OLS Docker environment. And then let's create a PHP info so we can see if we actually installed the extension or not. Now we should be able to. Yes, and we can see currently that it doesn't have the P spell um, extension installed. So let's install that. Go to the root of the envi dark environment and then create a folder. Uh, you can call it whatever you want. I'll call it custom. And then inside that, create a file called Docker file. Open that file and then write from. Now we will select which Docker image we will use. So let's go to Open Light Speed Docker Hub and then press tags. And we'll just use the, the latest one. So 1.6.9 LSPHP 74. So copy this part and then write run app get update and then app get install and ls php 74 p spell there we go save it and now you just have to change the docker compose So write build and then dot custom. So this is this has to be the the folder name we just used, which I might call mine custom. And then comment out this line, and that's it. Now you go back to Docker. Uh, if you go back to the terminal and write Docker compose build. There you go, it's now built, so now I'm going to compose up. We now have peace bill. So that's how you install extensions. Uh, if you have any questions, um, you can leave it down in the uh, comment section below, or you can find us at uh, you can find us here at uh, Google Groups, Facebook Groups, Slack Community, and Open Lightspeeds forums. Thank you very much for watching.